Good morning, everyone. Guess what season it is? Cold and flu for a lot of people, but not around here. Today I want to talk to you about something I use to help us fight off the cold and flu and keep us from getting sick. We got several things we use, but today I'm going to talk about one of them. All right, do you see this fuzzy looking stuff growing on these branches? This is a lichen. It is called Usnea. And this stuff is amazing to use to help prevent colds and flus and sicknesses. And I'm out of it today because we've been around some sick people and my kids have been getting itchy sore throats so we've we've eaten up all of our usnea that we had and so now today I need to collect some more so we will get to it alright guys I'm not even close to being done picking usnea I've got some in my bag I'm gonna keep collecting more but I wanted to stop for a minute and talk about this stuff it is a lichen not just any lichen, a specific kind of lichen. You can see it looks kind of stringy and interesting. It has a unique look. And there's a way to tell for sure if it is Usnea and not some other imposter. You just break a piece of it. And inside, I don't know if you can see, inside there will be like a stretchy white string. You can sort of see there. That white thing is like a stretchy, hard cord. And that's how you know this is Usnea. I got a friend. Hey, buddy. This is not for you. This is for me. Usnea is also good for livestock, by the way. If you got sick livestock and you want to give them something natural to help them, this is great for that. And they'll, you'll find goats will just go around and they'll eat this stuff on their own when they find it. But as a lichen, this is a symbiotic relationship between algae and fungus, which I find really cool. Now, it's been a while since I've done my reading, but I believe the outside green layer is the algae, and the inside layer is the fungus. And I don't remember which does which, but I know one part really boosts your immune system. It's fantastic. And the other part it is just a natural antiviral, an antibacterial. So you take this and it does two things at the same time. So typically what I do to prepare this is I pick it, of course. I wash it really good. You have to wash this stuff and get all the crap out of it. For me, that was the most annoying and time-consuming part. Um, but, you know, once you get it clean, I put it in my dehydrator and I dehydrate it until it's crunchy and then I just um, I stick it in my coffee grinder and I grind it up into a powder and um, you know the little white parts inside they actually for some reason they don't grind up into a powder very well they um, they stay as little sticks and I'll put a picture of that for some reason they stay as little sticks and it's it's a little annoying I'll admit those little sticks in there I really wish they would grind up all the way which maybe I just need a better grinder I don't know but um and somebody asked me why don't you just shake it through a sieve and get all the little sticks out and because then I I can't do that because then I will lose half of the goodness and you need you need both parts both parts are good so you take that powder and you can mix it up into whatever you like. I like to mix it into raw honey. If I'm running low on honey, then I will mix it into something else like applesauce or whatever for the kids to take. And they take it and it's actually really great. Now I have a few things I use to prevent colds and flu and whatnot. Things like colloidal silver and apple cider vinegar and garlic and all that good stuff. But today I thought I'd talk about this one because this is a little bit different than what people normally do. So, 
I just thought I would share that with you. Take a look in your yard. You might have this that typically grows on old hardwood trees. We have a lot of old oak trees. So whenever it rains, dead little sticks and branches like this will usually fall. And all I have to do is walk around and just pick to my heart's content. You know, I pick all this usnea and then prepare it, dry it, powder it, put it away in the cupboard and save it for when somebody's trying to get sick on me. And then I start feeding it to everybody. And I've been using it. Is this a r relatively new discovery for me? I've been using it for probably six months now. And it is definitely one of my go-to things now. Every time it rains, I come out here and I pick whatever's falling. You don't want to pick too much off of the trees themselves because you don't want to deplete this resource. You want it to keep growing. You want it to keep coming back. Typically, I try to only pick what's fallen onto the ground, and after it rains, it's a great time to do that. You just walk around, pick all the usnea you want, and it's pretty fantastic. So, I'm going to go finish picking, and when I get inside, I'll look up some more specific information and maybe put it on here as text. That way you can get a little more information about it, maybe a couple links to some websites where you can do some more research. I'm not a doctor. Do your own research, please. But um, this is some pretty fantastic stuff. So thanks for joining me. And I better go and finish picking before the kids get up and want their breakfast. Thanks a lot, guys. And have a blessed day. Don't get sick.